This is a very quick tutorial on how to carry forward a formula into the same column. It doesn't work with rows, you can't go across with it, you can only go down. Um, what you have here is as you can see at the top, I've got this bit of code here, uh, this formula where it's combining um, the first and second name uh, Timothy A and Ayinla into this column. Now <clears throat> this is the quickest way um, of doing it with every other line because I want the same first and last name combination all the way down. If we take the bottom left half left bottom right hand corner and just double click on it, it will populate it straight away. Um, the other way to do this is you can drag the bottom right hand column and it will do it as well. Now where this won't work, if we insert a insert a line, insert okay we just put a inserted another uh, row there. Now this could actually be useful as a cutoff point, maybe the the data down here you didn't want that happening to, but if you double click in the bottom right now, it will only go as far as this row. It'll it, uh, it'll stop. It won't carry on. But if you grab the bottom right and go down, say there's a reason you've got a gap there, it will still do it that way. That's the two different ways of doing this. But the reason I want to show you this is. Um, it keeps all the, the formula all the way down and updates it as it goes across because it, it identifies that you want that data per row. You know, it's it, it's not taking it all from the same row. It's basically using the formula and just going across using the same formula across rather than saying, okay, in column B we'll take it from A. It, it's actually taking everything from B, everything from C, etc., etc. Very quick, very useful, um, thanks for watching.